Hi guys, so I'm back today with another spooky box unboxing. I was a bit worried that the lighting was a bit bad, but it's actually pretty decent right now. So let's get to unboxing. So there's two boxes this month. Um, I will be talking about things towards the end. I might actually talk a bit more in depth in the second video, just about my overall thoughts and things like that with spooky box in general, because I know some of, so I've gotten some comments about, apparently I'm being a bit too judgy, but like, I am spending my money on it, you know, I do want to be given decent reviews. So anyway, look, we'll get into the first box anyway. The first box I'm going to do is Spooky Scary Skeletons. And you can see a dancing skeleton. I'm very excited for this one. Um, who doesn't look, who doesn't look, who doesn't love Spooky Scary Skeletons? And especially that song, I just absolutely love it. And the dancing skeletons. Um, yeah, so I have totally fallen out of the loop of which boxes are next and everything like that. We got double ones this time, which I didn't even know about. Um, I do wish that Spooky Box would contact us more regarding things like that. Again, I think in the second um, video, which is the coffin cute, um, I might talk a bit more about things like that. But for now, we'll get into this. Let's open it. It feels quite light, but um, hopefully that doesn't mean it's bad. Oh, we've got newlies, newlies again. Okay, this is the cheat sheet, so I'm gonna put this aside and look at it at the end. I see a little pumpkin confetti there too. Oh no, there, <laughs> sorry, it's really hard. Um, yeah, so we've got all this um, noodly stuff. Okay, that's filling up quite a lot of the box. So I do hope that there is some good items in here. Okay, I'm gonna take out the noodlies here and then I'm gonna blindly grab what I can. Merle is very interested in the noodlies and what's in here, okay. So the first thing is actually, I think a spoiler that I got. I did get a spoiler. Um, I will say to people, if you are making videos and that, please think about what your thumbnail is because it does spoil things on us and um, I get mine a good bit later and I know some international people will be getting it later as well so um, please just think about that because I did get a spoiler and I was very sad but it was this I definitely I remember seeing the rib cage and um, I assume this is a little DIY skeleton a skeleton you make up yourself this is really cool um, I really love their DIY stuff oh oh there was like a uh, that's for thread isn't it for like needle and thingies okay that must be to help you to get the string through. Oh my god, there's so many parts. Holy crap, wait now. Okay, so here's the string. I actually really love the colour of that. It's um, black and white. And then you've got tons of parts. You have two of these, one of these, one of these. I hope there is like maybe a thing inside telling us how to do it, his little face. But um, I really love this. Oh, he's got a little heart um, there. I think that's his pelvis or something. And then loads of bones. Oh, and Spooky Box Club, little heart, and little hands. And yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. I just hope that there is some instructions to that. because or But I'd say you'd figure it out handy enough. And then the little thing to help you tread it through the holes, because the holes are quite small. Um, I have to say, I quite like that. I will try and like get a shot of it all out and together, maybe. So that, to me, seems like the biggest item. Everything else, I don't know, seems quite small. Is this the lolly? Oh, a new lolly. Hey, it's actually a chubba chub. Oh my God, makes you lose your mind. It's a skull. Um, Well, this is awesome. I think I'm gonna eat this. And um, we've never gotten like a brand name one before, I'm pretty sure. Um, we've always got the, the gourmet handmade ones. But this is a nice change. Um, this looks tasty. Chubby chubs are always really tasty. So, Mara, what are you doing? This next thing is a print, maybe? I don't know. Happy haunting. Happy haunting. Oh, wait, there's stickers. <gasps> is this his little, is this a little card set? I'm not too sure. It looks like there's envelopes here and little stickers. This is very cute. Now, you see, this is the kind of thing I really wish we got in, um, this is the skeleton one, right? Yeah. Um, this is the kind of thing I really wish we got in, like, the stationary one, or there was a haunted library one, stuff like that, you know? Um, but, this is quite cute. Now, what happened to stickers? Oh, yeah, the stickers are still in there. There's two stickers, 
and two cards and it just says happy haunting with a planchette um, there's moon, moon phases on the planchette and it's just blank inside to send whoever you want to send that is pretty nice I like that and then there's just black envelopes which again are really nice that's that's cute I like that so two items pretty good um, I like them uh, I don't know the planchette one um, didn't really have anything to do with spooky scary skeletons though but I still liked it okay I think this is a pin there's so much noodles Ooh, I like this funeral and cremations pin. I know it seems very morbid, <laughs> but I really like this. It's very gothy. Um, I love any type of like tombstones, graveyards, things like that. And even though like I know death can kind of touch us all, and it has been doing recently, I still do love the imagery of things like this. And um, yeah, funerals and cremations. And uh, it looks like a nice pin. I'm gonna take it off the thingy, my jigger. It's a good quality one. We've gotten ones like these before, so this kind of goes with them. Um, that that thickness and that color, and um, you can see the pin back there, and it's just this little pin back, and I really like that. It'll add really nicely to my collection. I like the shape of it. Um, I like I like that it's there's a, a bit of detail, but it is simple as well. Um, I do like that pin a lot. There's a print. Oh, patches. Oh, spooky skulls patches. These are really cute. Look at them. Oh, I'm going to take them out of the thingy. I really need to do something with my patches. I haven't. Um, I'm going to try and do it soon though because it, they are wasted kind of just sitting there. But look how cute. So they come off and um, one's facing one way and the other one's facing the other way. And they're just stuck with a little bit of glue. But aren't they so cute? I love them. So that's them. They're really nice. I re I really like them. Um, I will definitely be using them. They'd be good even like to go well, the other way on your shoulders of something. Look how cute that looks. Yeah, definitely on maybe the collars of something. They're so nice. I really like them. Oh, I keep looking, damn it. Okay, I think we've got a necklace. Um, I think it's just, okay, wait, a minute. let's get in there. Okay, we've got, oh, it's it's pretty long, it's not too, it's not too long, and what is it, it's a skull and crossbones and a little heart, and it's just like a metal plate, um, it's fairly simple, I don't know if I like it, I kind of like it, I'm not pushed about it, it's not, it's not the most amazing thing we've gotten, but, um, it is quite nice, but I don't know, if it'd be something I'd wear a lot. Mm, maybe. But um, it's nice enough. Then we have this. I have no idea what this is. Oh, darn it. So these are spooky skeleton nail wraps. So any kind of nail things I'm not really into because my nails aren't the greatest. I try my best to, you know, grow them out and they just break and everything like that. So sometimes I do wear false nails. So maybe I will try them on it, but you can see that they're in the shape of nails. And I think you just stick them on or rub them on or something. There's all the instructions are on the back. I, I really don't think I have the time, the patience to do that. I, I don't know. I don't think I would. So what's this? This is another. Oh, this is a little charm. We got a charm bracelet a long time ago, so we keep getting charms to add to it. But um, I don't really do that now. I add them to like zippers and things so if I have like a bag or anything I'll just add it to it like a makeup bag or something because they're nicer like that but you can add them to anything you want this is a little bone I really like this one um I usually get rid of some of the other ones but this one I'm definitely going to keep it's just a little bone it's very simple it's got the little um uh, lobster clasp on it and yeah I like that a lot right I'm assuming that's nearly it oh wait okay I can see in the bottom the very last thing is the instructions of how to put your skeleton man together. So this is Mr. Jangles DIY skeleton kit. I love this, this is so cute and I can't wait to do it. I definitely think I'm gonna might do a video with it and I'm gonna do it very soon because um, I just, I'm so behind with a lot of these DIY stuff and I wanna do it. Um, and you just, yeah, all the instructions of what to do and how to loop it and yeah, and I, I really love it. So that was all the items in here oh um 
there's not much confetti there's just like a few little um pumpkins but they're very cute so i'm just gonna put that aside and i'm gonna read through the cheat sheet thingy now custom made skull uh oh wait sorry spooky box scary spooky skeleton box number 43 um custom made skull patches i love the skull patches a lot hang on they're here um, these skull patches are so lovely. Um, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna definitely do something with them this time because um, these are so cute and like I said, sitting like on your shoulders or on your collar, they're gonna look amazing. Um, custom made happy haunting greeting greetings card. Um, this is very cute, but hang on, where are they? There. These are really cute, and you get the little stickers as well to kind of close them up. Um, on the envelopes, but um, I would have liked skeletons on it. I think the design should have been spooky skeletons um, Or even your man mr. Jangles or whatever they have named him um, Just if he had been on it would have been even nicer But um, I do really like these though all the same and they will be used and um, Stationary I just love stationary more stationary, please. So custom made mr. Jangles DIY skeleton kit so there's so much to this, hang on. You know what? I'm just gonna take this out and we'll give it a feel. So it's just um like wood, like is a PVA wood is that was called. And um all the pieces are like this, and you can see the little holes in it for where you connect up the pieces. So um yeah, I I have to say I quite like this. When he comes together, he's gonna look so nice. And um, I will definitely do a separate video on this guy. Scary skeleton, uh, scary spooky skeletons nail um, wraps. Well, it says nail decals, Deco decals, decals. And uh, yeah, the nail wraps. So look, I'll try, but I'm probably not going to do much to them. Sorry, I didn't really tell you what the designs were on them, but there's skeletons, there's a reaper, there's all kinds of different things. A spooky cat, some bones, some skeletons. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not pushed on that, but it's still pretty nice. Um, custom made funeral, funeral madan, oh my god, it's not funeral, it's funerary, funerary? Funerary medallion necklace. I have to say, I'm not familiar with that word, funerary. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not too pushed on it, I think it's just a bit, it's a bit, too simple um like i do like i said i do like my simple things but i think this is just a bit too simple and it's not really detailed but um it's nice but i just i i i don't wear a ton of jewelry but i do wear necklaces and um earrings as you can see and i have my favorites and i don't think this is one of them custom made um bone bracelet charm so I really like that, that's really cute and I'll definitely, I won't be putting it on my bracelet but I will clip it to something and I'll get, it'll get use and I love it. Um, custom made funerals and cremations pin, I really like this, um, I love the style of it, it's old fashioned, it kind of it's kind of western nearly, it kind of reminds me like of a western funerals and cremations like little place doesn't it, um, yeah I really, I do like that a lot. Um, and handcrafted gourmet lollipop. So I think they've got that wrong because this is not a handcrafted gourmet lollipop. This is a chubby chub. So unless they ran out of them or something and had to put the chubby chubs in or just changed their mind, um, I'm super happy with this. I will definitely be eating it. Steve usually eats all of the um, lollipops, but this one will be mine because it looks really tasty and it has brains. Who doesn't love tasty brains? So that was the skeleton box, the spooky scary skeletons. And I have to say I was pretty happy with all of that stuff. Um, bar the necklace and the nail things, I think everything else I really love, yeah, even the lollipop. So um, that was a successful one. So you guys can't complain that I'm being too judgy. <laughs> I'll get more into that in my next video. I'm definitely going to um, talk just a little bit more about Spooky Box in general. So if you guys want to see that, definitely check out my next video, which I'm going to film right now, which is the unboxing of the Coffin Cute um, box. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be that. <laughs> Bye.